Yes, well, I just recently came back from a couple of weeks at Balmoral, and of course I worked with the Queen at Buckingham Palace on policy and strategy. And I must say, she was wonderful, engaging. She would light up the room. I mean, I think that's why we see the outpouring of love for her by everyone across the across Great Britain, but also others around the world. And there's great sadness in losing someone um, who was cherished and, and loved. And our new Prime Minister has said that it's that she was the rock on which modern Britain was built and I think that is true uh, she, you know she was curious she asked lots of questions very personal in her approach and she had a great skill of listening um, and I just think she therefore made working with her just so easy in that regard um, and, and for anything that, that we would ask her to do if you could tie it back to duty and service which was what was at the core of everything she did, then she would happily do it. And obviously a, a public figure, but behind that image, she's known to have had a, a really good sense of humour. Uh, was that your experience? Oh, definitely, yeah. Uh, the first night I met her was a very small dinner in Balmoral um, in the summer, and she, I just laughed all evening. She told story after story and made everyone feel at ease, and that was you know, my first encounter with her. But on other times, she would just talk about what had happened that day, especially the funny things that, had, that people had done or said and recount stories. Uh, and I think the family have it too. Just only a week, of, a week ago in, at the Brimar Games in Balmoral, um, the now the new king and his sister, the Princess Royal, were sitting laughing away um, uh, during those games. So I think she surrounded herself with that sort of love of life um, and wanting to enjoy life. And also someone who had an enormous interest in and command of the huge range of issues that landed on her desk every day. Absolutely. She had 70 years of building and understanding and also just the knowledge of not only you know the United Kingdom, but also of the world. I mean, she was probably the most well-traveled head of state in reaching out to people across the globe. And I think she had this ability also to retain knowledge and information um, and also would ask some really great questions. So I think that wealth of knowledge and experience and she had 15 prime ministers all constantly out meeting people from all walks of life. So she really did have a handle of the issues. And of course, she met the prime minister every week. So I'm sure it gave him or her lots of great advice. And how do you think she'll be remembered? What will her legacy be? Well, I think, and it's interesting just hearing everyone talk about it in the last um, day, you know, she, she was Elizabeth the Great or Elizabeth the Wise or Elizabeth the Steadfast, but she will be remembered with real love um, and that sort of warm appreciation for her incredible life of service and duty. And she never faltered from that at all. And I think she was probably the, both the best of our history and an inspiration for our future. So we have, you know, things to look forward to and we can celebrate what she brought. But hopefully her legacy lives on in all of us. Mary McLeod, thank you very much indeed for joining us today and sharing your thoughts.